Hey, who's up for a bite? I should warn you, we're about to pass the point of no return. I trust you're not having any second thoughts. Whoever thought of tapping into the meteor's power was a genius. Can you even go near that thing? They harvest fragments found nearby, pieces that broke off when the meteor fell. Almost fell, I should say, for the Archeon caught it. And he's still there, holding the thing up. Guess he never misses leg day. Or any day, for that matter. His unceasing toil and the meteor's might form the tenets of worship for the locals of Disguise. Makes you wonder what it's like down there at his feet. So you know, it's hot where we're going. Will the camera fare all right? As long as I avoid open flames, it should be okay. I think. We don't have a spare if it breaks. Leave it in the car? Oh no, I'm taking it. Not every day you get up close and personal with the Archean. I kick myself if I miss the photo op. Spoken like a true photographer. As they say, better to try and fail than never to try at all. Look at you. Well, they say that. Not me. Well, you just do what you gotta. Can your glasses take the heat? Well, I don't see why they shouldn't. Even if they couldn't, he'd still be all right. Yeah, Iggy's eyes ain't that bad. Oh, really? Yeah, my vision is passable without corrective lenses. Then why not take them off sometimes? Well, uh, you don't get it, huh? Ignis likes his world to be crystal clear. Indeed, I've never been one for ambiguity. Ah, I think I'm getting the picture now. Hey, Ignis. How's it feel being away from the wheel? Positively frightening. What are you saying? That I'm no stranger to His Highness's driving habits. Appreciate the confidence. Read a book. It'll take your mind off it. I'd rather keep my eyes on the road for now, thank you. I guess nothing can take your mind off Knox driving. Will you? Better not be a setup. Have I given you reason to doubt me? You don't really inspire confidence. Yeah, not very straightforward. Hello? It's me! Be so kind as to open up! Wow, that worked? I may not look like much, but I do have some influence. Aren't you glad we came together? Your audience with Divinity lies ahead. You're leaving? I drop you at the Archean's open door. And with that, bid you farewell. Never meet that one again. Whoa, a little harsh there, don't you think? Guy really knew his stuff about nursery rhymes. Yeah, nothing creepy about that. So we keep going this way. Then we'll find out what the Empire's up to. These ruins. Is that what I think it is? Didn't expect to find a royal tomb here. Would be a shame not to grab that power, eh, Highness? Let's grab it and go.
Here we go again! This one's huge! Get away! Quickly! Gotcha! Come on, pull yourself up. Ah. Thank heavens you're safe! Is there a way back up? No, but there's a path. Gonna see where it leads. You two try to get down. Very well. We'll look for a way. Be careful now. You two. What? We're going where? Don't rush off on your own, huh? Don't get left behind. Wise guy. They're on edge. Let's not ruffle their feathers anymore. Um, try shutting your beak. Just offering sound advice. Yeah, like a parrot in my ear. either. Make it quick. Just want this to be over. Talk. So 
do I? Yeah, the feeling's mutual. Let's move. Walking. Then I'm sick of your endless whining. Calm the hell down. Get off my back. Are you a man of royal blood, or aren't you? <laughs> of course I am. I couldn't forget it if I tried. What about it? I ain't saying that you've forgotten, but you gotta know something. You're not the only one who's having a tough time. We're all on edge. We, Amicidia, are the King's sworn shields. Guard the King with our lives. That's the way it's always been. I've embraced my duty. And I take pride in it. When you can't focus, I focus for you. It's my job, so let me do it, alright? Alright. Sorry, but I had to get it out. Come on. <sighs> and remember, don't rush ahead on your own. Hey, Gladio. Your dad, I, I'm grateful to him. Just doing his job. Hmm? Isn't that your phone? <sighs> Ignis. You're safe. Good. Listen, Imperial troops are... Off. But it sounds like we're about to have Imperial company. It's about to get even hotter in here. <sighs> we finally made it. I know. you want quit screwing with my head you gotta be kidding me
Rosa! Run! He just won't quit.
Still here? Yep, still here. If a little battered. Does this mean it's over? Ah, what? What is it now? What is he doing? He's winding up! For the big one!
Oh, thank the gods I found you boys. And what will you do with us now? Why, grant you safe passage, just as I say. Very generous offer for an Imperial. Calm now. Is it fair to begrudge a man the circumstances of his birth? Well, no. I guess not. So, what do we do after he drops us off? Go get the car. Can't leave her unattended for long. Chancellor, if you truly wish to aid us in our efforts, then I request you release us this instant. This instant? It's a long way down. Perhaps the army could break your fall. Or perhaps you could simply sit back and enjoy the ride. You needn't worry. You're in good hands with me. Commander Ravis Nox Foray issued the following statement regarding the Imperial blockades across the region. We believe the insurgents behind the Citadel attack have taken refuge in disguise. The blockades shall help us root out the criminals. I realize the inconvenience imposed upon the citizenry, but we must each do our part for the good of all. The High Commander also stressed the Imperial Army would continue its recovery efforts in the Crown City. The frequent quakes which rocked the Disky and Clean regions in recent days have finally quieted. In response, the Empire provided the following comment. The cause of the tremors was the Archean who had awakened in a fit of rage. The Imperial Army took swift action and laid the unruly giant to rest, thus averting disaster. Eyewitness reports confirm Titan has disappeared from the Disk of Kothis. I still can't believe it. I mean, shouldn't the car have turned up by now? We should wait until Cindy's done asking around the local garages before we despair. Let's not fool ourselves. The Empire has it. Then maybe we could ask Arden to help us out again, right? The Imperial Chancellor. He represents a problem, not a solution. So where does that leave us? Stranded. Awaiting word from Hammerhead. In the meantime, we'll have to hoof it. Look, it's Umbra! Someone's sending us a message. She's a messenger, a spirit, faithful to the Oracle. Uh, for real? <laughs> We're going beyond real now, pal.
Let Luna know I'm okay, and she won't have to wait much longer. We'll be together soon. The crystal was gifted to mankind, that we might know lasting prosperity. If the crystal belongs to everyone, how come only Lucis gets to use it? The kings of Lucis do not simply use the crystal. They also protect it. Wait, so my dad's guarding it? Yes. I had no idea. To crown the King of Light is the calling of the crystal. And keeping the crystal safe until that day falls to the line of Lucis. And I'm the chosen. Yes, only the true king, anointed by the crystal, can purge our star of its scourge. You really think I can do that? As Oracle, I will see to it. Hmm? To aid the king is the Oracle's calling. Then... I guess I can do it. I won't let you down. I know you won't. When to the king alone this voice is heard. To follow the words is to follow the chosen path. Bridging heaven and earth it strikes, the storm's ephemeral yet eternal light. To the light must go the king. Lady Lunafreya has done well to keep the ring from falling into enemy hands. All we need to do is hit Altitia. That entails passage aboard a ship. Kaim may serve us now as it did them then. The Hidden Harbor. <laughs> Just my work. I'll have Ira set it up. So, in the meantime... We head into the storm. Another day, another deity. <laughs>